In this video, we're going to talk about absolute value. Absolute value is one of those things that you see a little bit at the beginning of pre-algebra or algebra, then it kind of disappears for a while, pops up again, maybe in the middle of algebra. And as you go on further in math, mathematics, it, it definitely uh, keeps popping its head up. And um, in higher math, it's, it's around quite a bit. So it's good to know if you're in sort of a pre-algebra, algebra area at least, what absolute value means and so I have a couple definitions for you here the first definition is the distance between a number and zero so let's look at that definition the symbol for absolute value looks like this it's two bars let me see if I can make these as straight as I can here they're supposed to be like perfectly straight let me try again I can do better than that I could even use this thing that would probably be better huh like a bar and another bar like that, two vertical lines. So if I wanna take the absolute value of something, I put it between those, those bars. So let's say I wanna do the absolute value of three. These are not parentheses, these are not brackets, these are straight up and down vertical lines and you read them the absolute value of, absolute value of three. That means the distance between three and zero. If I look at a number line, and I put, I'll put zero in the middle. One, two, three. We'll go this way because we'll talk about this in a second. Negative one, negative two, negative three. So if I want to know the absolute value of three, that's the distance between three and zero. So it's this distance right here. How many steps is that? Well, that's three steps. So the absolute value of three is three. The math here is not too complicated. It's just understanding what the symbol means. What if we wanted to find the absolute value of negative three? So that's the distance between negative three and zero. From negative three to zero, how many steps would that be? Well, that would be three steps. The key here is distance. And when we're talking about a distance, it's always going to be positive. We don't really talk about negative distances. This is where definition two comes along, which is a little simpler definition. The value of a number without regard to its sign. In other words, just ignore whether it's positive or negative and just say the number. So this is a positive three, but you know, if I just ignore the fact that it's positive, I just say three. Here I've got negative three, ignoring the negative, I just say three. So without regard to its sign, what number are we looking at? That's basically all it is. Um, I found this kind of interesting little website here. Let me see if I can pull it up in our screen. There we go. Absolute value, how far a number is from zero. And it talks about six is six from zero and negative six is six from zero. But I thought this was kind of neat. You could drag your pen here. So if I'm at two, the absolute value of two is two because I'm two steps from zero. And as I move further, the absolute value of 2.4 is 2.4. If I'm on this positive side or this blue side, notice the absolute values are just exactly the same as whatever number I'm on. There's no difference at all. You just drop the absolute value. If I go over to the red side or the negative side, the absolute value of negative one is one. The absolute value of negative two is two. The absolute value of negative two and a half is two and a half. So if I'm on the negative side, I'm just dropping the negative sign. And that's the answer. That's how you calculate the absolute value. How far are we from zero? So there are some situations where we just want to look at the value of the number and ignore the sign of the number. And if we want to do that, we use absolute value. And like I said, you might run into those situations um, later on in your math career. Uh, a couple other things I want to say about absolute value is if you're asked to uh, simplify, sometimes you'll see this when you're doing order of operations or something. Let's say you've got two absolute value negative three and that two is smashed up against that absolute value that means times just like if it was a parenthesis um, if there's nothing between the two and the absolute value symbol it means multiply so in this case it means to take two times the absolute value of negative three we already talked about the absolute value of negative three is three so what this is telling us to do is two times three and the answer to that would be six 
All right, let's look at one more example, at least, maybe two. Um, one thing I want to show you is if you have more than one thing to do inside your absolute value or more than one number, say you have something like absolute value of 3 minus 10. You don't just change this to a positive. You have to do what's in the absolute value first. You can only take the absolute value of one number. You have to get what's in here down to one number. So you want to figure it out first. 3 take away 10 would be negative 7. And the absolute value of negative 7 would be 7. See, if you did it the other way, I'm going to do this in red to show you I do not want you to do it this way. If you said, oh, you said absolute value makes everything positive, so I'm just going to change this to a positive. And then that would make absolute value 13. I'm getting Christmassy here. Let's change this back to red. Absolute value 13 is 13. That's not, no, I don't want you to do it that way. Have to get what's in the absolute value down to one number, and then you can take the absolute value of it. One number. Let's do one more example of that. Maybe on this one you want to uh, pause the video and try it by yourself and see how you do. How about absolute value of 6 plus 3 minus 12. 6 plus 3 take away 12. And then take the absolute value. Why don't you uh, try that and start the video again when you have your answer. Okay, so hopefully you did all this first. We want to do 6 plus 3 take away 12. Let's see. We're going to keep our absolute values here till, till the end. Till we actually get it down to one number inside here. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Take away 12. 9 take away 12 would be negative 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So the moral of the story here is to get this down to one number first, then take the absolute value of it. If it's already positive, keep it positive. Um, if it's negative, change it into a positive. I should probably do one where it comes out positive. I was just doing a whole bunch of negative ones. What if we had the absolute value of um, 15 minus 6? I like 6's today. 15 take away 6. Well, 15 take away 6 is 9. Absolute value of 9 is plain old 9. If it's positive, you just keep it positive, drop the absolute value. Well, hopefully this helped you get an idea about what absolute value means and what to do with it when you see it. And um, like I said, it kind of pops up here and there, but you probably won't see it a whole lot till, till later on. It's just good to know what it means and how to deal with it.